creating chart of accounts in fusion general ledger for free oracle videos and information on fusion book set visit facebook.com slash r12 financials book set what is chart of accounts in traditional accounting chart of accounts means just a list of accounts for example a list of accounts would consist of land, building, computers, all assets, liabilities, expenses, revenues, and ownership accounts. In Oracle, you can add more dimensions, also called as segments, and create combinations of accounts. For example, you create two companies like this, five departments, and several accounts. You can combine these three dimensions or segments into account combinations like 10-000-10110 which will indicate a, it's an account for Google operations, department is none and the actual account is land. Whereas in another combination 20-110-40130 it would mean this is an account of company 20 that is Google services department 110 that means this particular expense 4130 airfare has been incurred for department finance. This is how Oracle allows you to make several account combinations. We will create a simple chart of account structure with three segments or dimensions company, department and account. The first step is to create value sets. Log into Fusion and go to your implementation project. Search the implementation project that you are using and open it. To create value sets, search for the task Manage Chart of Accounts Value Sets. Click on the task and then click on the Go to Task button against it. Click plus to create a value set. Create one value set for each segment. Let us say GX company. This is for the company segment. Take module at general ledger. Validation type as independent. Data type as character. and take a suitable length. In company, we are going to enter only two digits. So enter two. Click save and close. Create the next value set for department. GX department. Length, take it 3 as there are 3 digits in the department values. Save the value set and create the third one. Length is 5 as we are using 5 digits. Click save and close after you have completed.
creation of all the value sets. Step 1 is complete. Step 2 is to create the chart of account structure. Go to the task Manage Chart of Account Structures and click on the icon to open it. Enter module General Ledger and search for the flex field. Then click on Manage Structures. Click plus to create a new structure. Enter a structure name. Choose the delimiter and save it. Click plus to add segments. Choose a column name which is segment 1. Select the value set name that you created in earlier step. You can also select a value set by clicking on this triangle. Choose a segment label which is equivalent to a flex field qualifier from R12. This is a company segment, so flag it as a primary balancing segment. Click save and close. Add a new segment. Choose a column name, segment 2 and the value set name. Choose the segment label. If it is a cost center, choose cost center. Select a segment, this is the third segment and select the value set. It is a natural account segment, so choose natural account segment as the selected label. Save and close it. On the create flex field structure, again save and close. Search and see that your structure is saved. Step 2 is complete. We created a COA structure. Now we have to create a chart of accounts instance. A COA instance is a new functionality provided in Fusion as compared to R12. A COA instance is a variation of a COA structure that can be used for different ledgers. To create a COA structure instance, click on the Manage Structure Instances. And click Plus 
to create a structure instance. Give a name. You will see that the segment instances are automatically selected. Go to edit for each segment and check the required. And you can see for the instance, you can choose a specific default value. If you create another instance of the same structure, you will be able to create another default value, which will be a constant or a query for that segment. Go to next segment. Check required. Click OK. And repeat the same for all the segments. Then click on save and close. and see that your instance is created. Step 3 is complete. We created a COA instance. Now you have to deploy the chart of accounts. To deploy a chart of accounts, go to the accounting flex field and click on deploy flex field. The deployment is similar to the compilation of R12. In R12, the compilation is done only for one chart of accounts, whereas the deployment considers all the chart of account structures and instances. Once the deployment is complete to 100%, click OK and see that the deployment status is marked as complete. Your chart of accounts is now ready and now you can enter the values. To enter values, go to manage chart of accounts value set values. Search the value set and click on manage values. To add a new value, click plus and enter the value. Click save and close to complete the value. Click search to see the values that you have entered. Likewise, you can go and enter values for other segments as well. The chart of accounts can now be used in a ledger. For more information on Fusion Bookset, visit facebook.com slash r12financialsbookset.